So you remember the movie. 1984 was the year. Red Dawn, the name of the movie. Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howell, Leah Thompson, Charlie Sheen, all about a group of teenagers who banded together to defend their town, the country, from invading Soviet forces. Well, unfortunately now, it appears we have a new Red Dawn rising. Overnight, something no one wanted to wake up to. We have Venezuela, Iran, Russia, China, all assembling on our southern border. Are you aware of this story? You should be, because the implications are staggering, and that's what we're going to cover for you here today. My name, if you haven't met me already, is Justice Knight, filling in today for Lisa Haven. Just three quick favors. If you haven't subscribed to Lisa, please do make sure your bell is checked so you're alerted to upcoming broadcasts. Also, just above me, Lisa will throw a link. Please subscribe to my channel. We work day and night to bring you the new get back to this broadcast. All right, some of this information has been brewing for a long time. Putin stages nuclear drills with intercontinental missiles capable of hitting Britain after former President Warren crisis could lead to the end of mankind. Cryptic words. Testing missiles. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Running military promotional tapes. We've seen a lot of this. You've seen a lot of this. But now something has changed. This is gone from those promotional military reels to saber-rattling, to Iran, Russia, China, to run war drills in Latin America. Uh, some would say it's war drills, Justice. What are you worried about? They do them all the time. Well, you want those groups uniting that close to our border? I'll tell you why, because there's a lot more around this. The VRIC monitor, Petro, and the hurricane. And within this article, it tells you everything you almost need to know. We'll round it off at the end with what the impact of the Biden administration is on this and with all the recent stories, how they play into this exact saga. So just read along with me. In mid-August, Venezuela will host a sniper frontier competition with the participation of Russia, Iran, and China's military, as well as at least 10 other nations. In a strategic move that seeks to pre-position, pre-position forward deployed military assets in Latin America, and the Caribbean, the VIRC nations are getting ready to make a loud statement that the region is ready to embrace the multipolar force. This was recently highlighted but something Vladimir Putin said. He stated a year and a half ago, speaking at the Davos Forum, I once again emphasize that the era of the unipolar world order is over. Despite all the attempts to save it, to preserve it by any means possible, when they won the Cold War, the U.S. declared themselves God's own representation on Earth. People who have no responsibilities, only interests. They seemingly have not noticed that new powerful centers have arisen and are getting louder and louder. A very, very cryptic warning from Putin. This was echoed on June 22nd by President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China following suit at the 14th. BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, Business Forum held in Beijing, appealing to its members to unite against an increasingly unipolar world. See, this has all been out there. Now the deck is just getting stacked. Days later, on June 27th, Argentina and Iran submitted applications to join the BRICS group. The Bolivarian hurricane is coming. Venezuela, under the leadership of an anti-U.S. socialist president, Nicolas Maduro, is scheduled to host the war games in mid-August, according to a report by the Center for Secure Free Society, the center I just showed you, a think tank that tracks malign regimes, along with 10 other nations, Russia, China, and Iran, will move their militaries into the Western Hemisphere for war drills that will pre-position those forward-deployed military assets again in Latin America and the Caribbean. Folks, for me, that's much too close for comfort. Bottom right, you see Venezuela. I'll zoom out a little bit. And obviously, the United States of America. Military assets. Again, folks, from Iran, from China, from Russia, assembling there for a war drill. 
And who's in our leadership spot? Biden's going to do anything about it? Talk about special interests. We'll get to that at the end. Conflicting interests. Strategic oil reserve releases. Business associations. Hunter Biden. We can continue to go through the ream of conflicts. The war games known as the Sniper Frontier Competition show that these malign regime from across the globe are uniting and getting ready to make a loud statement that the region is ready to embrace the multipolar force. A key portion of Russia's military is prepping to bring for the first time some of these military games to the Western Hemisphere, even as Moscow is bogged down with a war in Ukraine that, of course, we are hemorrhaging money, attempting to fund. Ah. Can't talk about this right now, but we're going to later at Restricted Republic, secondary broadcast, information that literally brought a tear to my eye, and you'll understand why. There is nothing we fight more for here than the children of any nation, and the data that was just released out of the UK is staggering. It will get an emotional response out of you, I promise you that, but... Let's move forward. Iran oil tanker reaches Venezuela amid U.S. tensions. You see, this is brewing for some time. This on May of 2020. I know many of you are aware of that. I hope you are. Well, let's go back to Washington Free Beacon. I always want to call them out. An amazing job on framing so much of this story, at least helping to frame it in. The strategic deal between Iran and Venezuela is meant to mirror similar strategic agreements that the Islamic Republic signed with China and Russia in recent years. According to another think tank, of course, what are they banding together against? Should be readily apparent right now. Iran's elite force expanding influence in Venezuela, claims Pentagon. And what have we done about it? Same thing we always do about it. Nothing right now. You don't think it's close? Captain Gassame, retired IRGC commander an ex-member. I'll be careful of what I say here, because I'm not just, so many trigger words within this. Boards, a crew member of the plane grounded by Argentina. Where did that plane come out of Venezuela? They're already there. This is a notorious arms dealer. What are they stocking up for? After the plane was grounded, documents, personal effects, and electronics were seized by Argentinian authorities who discovered images of tanks, missiles, and other pro-IRGC paraphernalia on one of the mobile devices, hinting at a larger Iranian-backed plot unfolding in the region. Gassemi reportedly made at least 13 trips from Iran to Venezuela in the past year and a half, raising red flags with the FBI and the Israeli government. Now, there's nothing to be concerned about, I guess, huh? Red Dawn moment. Sometimes it shouldn't be this easy to frame it in. Deep cover Russian spy outed after posing as a Brazilian and trying to infiltrate the international criminal court. It's happening. China's Belt and Road Initiative advances in Latin America's and the Indian region. It's happening. It's been underway for some time. This from 2019. So nobody should act like this is news except for now. This newest war game puts it all into focus. Nicaragua joins China's Belt and Road Initiative. I hope that keeps it in the focus, but that's not the biggest cause for concern. Anybody could say, oh, this has been going on forever. It always goes on. Don't worry about justice. Take it easy. Well, what happens when the United States reacts? They don't tell you they're going to react. Of course they don't. U.S. Second Fleet participates in Operation Noble Defender. This published July 6, 2022 from the U.S. Second Fleet Public Affairs. And what does it say? This iteration allowed NORAD units to confirm capabilities designed to defend the southern approach to the United States from simulated cruise missile threats to continental U.S. NORAD region coordinated and conducted joint operations with the Second Fleet assets while concurrently launching jets from different locations across the United States Gulf Coast. Second Fleet's role in the operation was to facilitate the successful execution of a missile warning information link. The U.S. is reacting. 
Or is Biden, is he talking about it? Huh? Of course not. Of course not. Conflicting interest. Bay of Pigs. We could be sitting on something far worse than the Bay of Pigs. I'm not going to insult you by going through the Cuban Missile Crisis. I know you know how it started. Averting disaster by the slimmest of margins. But this is far worse now, folks. We have Biden sitting in office right now. So if an event like this is unfolding, do we have any thought whatsoever that he can handle anything and avert a potential disaster? Of course not. He can't finish a sentence. Senator Johnson on Senate Florida, Biden's are financially tied to China and Russia. Where's the public outcry? We've been crying about it for years. You have been crying about it for years. Nobody's doing a damn thing about it. And this is what happens when you don't do anything about it. Biden selling off oil from reserve to Hunter Biden tied Chinese firm called an impeachable offense. It's far larger than that. Conflicting interests. We've shown you those conflicting interests with Russia, with China. We see how Biden's acting to Iran. Now they're assembling. They're assembling moving military and armaments into the region because and what do we do we sell our strategic oil reserves to sino pack that's the company that they're just discussing my friends i could bring you no larger warning of what's happening right now not sensationalized fact-driven as always like we do at restricted republic what real journalism was meant to look like we put our butts on the line every day to do this. I love doing it. I love doing it for every person who comes up to me, no matter where we're at, and says, thank you. It's for you we do this. Because we love this great country. We love this great nation. We love this republic. And we love you. And we'll continue to do it. Man, just have our backs when things go down, all right? I promise we'll continue. Now get over to Restricted Republic. Watch the next video and help us protect the children. This information has to get out everywhere. And I want to thank somebody else too, by the way. Right here. Get the T forward slash. So get the T.com forward slash Lisa Haven, one of her sponsors. Sponsors mean the world to her. They keep this program going. And they got a special offer, not just words, not just go to the website. Oh, heck no. They got a special deal going on right now. Be pollen and get the tea. Apple Cider Plus and get the tea. You see the special discount pricing again. That is getthetea.com forward slash Lisa Haven. And on behalf of Lisa, I can't thank you all enough for being here. Sorry to start your Sunday this way. But the news is the news. And if it's hard to hear, and if it's hard to, hard to handle, we're not going to shy away from it. This is in your face. Journalism. Real journalism the way it was meant to be. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Signing out.